Uh, what else did you do? Uh, well, as you know, there's a tie, there's a smaller version of me that lives in my home. It's a, it's a, it's a Pat Jr. If you would. And, uh, he's been in his bassinet and he's been sleeping good. And, uh, one day he decided, fuck this. This bassinet is bullshit. Every single time I go to bed, I'm going to put my arms straight out and T-pose and grab the sides of it and try and claw my way out and get mad and wake myself up multiple times a night. Mm -hmm. So we got in the car and we went and we got a crib and we brought the crib home. And yesterday was my task for the day was to build my boy a gay baby jail. Mm -hmm. And man, it really, a crib really is a jail, like the bars and all that. Like they make it look nice with the wood and all that. But it's, a, it's a jail. It is a jail. Um, and um, so I, I take apart all the shit on the crib and I, I am hit with my first challenge, which is no fucking instructions. It's shipped without any goddamn instructions. Well, that's okay, because you're, you're a dad and you've got that inner, like, you know, handiness that then kicks in. You've got that stat covered. Yeah, that's right. And that handiness is spend a half hour finding the company website <laughs> and, download, and downloading the PDF. Crying, the instructions crying, on your phone. crying as you search for a PDF. So, Wooly, Wooly, guess what? You're not wrong. <laughs> I... Yesterday was rough on dad, okay? Mm -hmm. I was crying because <laughs> the only piece of paper the, that was in the crib was if you cannot assemble this crib following every instruction as denoted on the paper and use every part, it is not safe for an infant to sleep in. Oh... <laughs> which which planted the idea right. that oh my god if i get a screw out of place it, it's all it's over. the baby's head's gonna fall off and in the mean or he'll explode and in the meantime the current containment in the background is your baby's dropping domain expansion yeah <laughs> as, as, as it goes full power and gets the fuck out of so it. like so yes so like on and off all day, I'm in the bedroom, like putting this thing together with instructions off my phone and Paige keeps like, like, like not yelling, but like, you know, Hey, what the fuck is going on up there? Because I'm like sweating and sometimes I'm crying a little bit and I'm going like, where is it? I just had the screw. I just had the screw. I just, and I got it built. And it's it's all done, and the little baby has hey. his little baby mattress, and you know there's a mattress, there's like a bed spring that you put in it, and the f the bed spring has like a paper pouch on it, and it says for regulatory purposes, do not remove this pouch from the bed spring. I'm like, okay, I won't. And then I finally did all of it. And then I read the last part of the instructions off my phone and it says, place the instructions back into the pouch on the bed spring. And I went, no, no. You can't. So I went to the bed spring and I opened up the pouch and sure enough, the instructions had been in there the whole time, uh... but I had not opened it. Because the text on the bed spring said, do not remove this pouch. Because <laughs> it can convert into uh, yes, like a small yes, bed. Yes, yes, right. Or like a toddler okay. bed. Um, <laughs> and then okay. I was like, so the worst, you know what the worst part is? Hmm. Paige had like come to hang out in the bedroom with the baby and they're like, ha ha ha. So like she saw it. She saw me discover the, that I had just not been able to find the instructions because the box told me not to. And, and like, if, if she hadn't been in the room, I, yet never came with the instructions, just ne like, not 
I did it all by myself. It never came with it. But she was like right there to just see me pull the fucking instructions out of this pouch and go. And she goes, why didn't you look in there? I'm like, it told me not to remove the pouch. How did It says right here, don't remove it. How did you make it out of prison in Metal Gear Solid 1? <laughs> how'd you get how did you get out did you I had just, a tips and tricks guy did you, did you, okay I was like, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> because you just to sit there so like what did you what did you do how did you <laughs> yeah okay all right um, all right so the the crib is all made but the baby did not sleep in the crib did, last night did you no <laughs> Um, and, and Paige was like, oh, why? We can just put the mattress cover on and, you know, we, you know, we put the blanket, not the blanket, the, the, the sheet, the fitted sheet in the mattress cover and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, no. And then I held the baby and I held his, uh, his little sleep sack. And then I bawled my fucking eyes out. Like I had a family member who died because because him going from the bassinet to the crib means he's not just a little baby anymore. It means he's now just baby. He's, he's a guy, right? He's a like guy. he has gone from like little, infant, yeah, to to baby, like conclusively. Little baby is now a little guy. Yeah, and it's it's stupid, it's stupid, and you, dude. And you, 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 I'm gonna tell you right now. In like three or four years, that kid's gonna go to school, and I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Um, I'm gonna lose it. You will also need to design and reinforce further and further entrapment tools as he continues to <laughs> bend well, the bars. Well, this one's gonna be good for a while because what, the what the, what they do now is they give you like a, a crib for like six month old, so the mattress is like most of the way up. Okay. And then as they get the ability to stand, crawl, and try and escape, you drop the mattress down farther and farther and farther until mm. they can't. Now you're gonna walk back in and you're gonna see him like like uh at the beginning of Stardust Crusaders with like a surfboard and like a mini yeah. fridge and a radio. <laughs> Just chilling. Um okay. there's also a secondary part. Um uh the boy has a chance, Wooly. We got him measured when he got his shots. The boys right now in the 41st percentile for baby height. For height, for height. Okay, okay. Almost at the middle. Almost at the middle. How like no, like a normal person. How aggressively are we tracking these stats? <laughs> every single time he gets a shot. Yeah, every okay. Okay. They they go percentile for height, weight, uh, head size, etc. Unfortunately, me mentioning this last uh, night on my stream uh and me mentioning that i'm five foot two inches led to the statistical discovery that i am in fact in the first percentile for male adult height in canada first i'm i am in the first percent i am at the bottom Wow! Like, like Wooly. Yeah. Okay. You've known so me for a long time. Yeah. Paige I'm a short doing guy. all the heavy lifting on, yeah. on this one. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I'm a short guy, but I never had the stats to be like, oh, you know what? You're right, Statistics Canada. I can't think of another adult man that I don't have to look up to at least a little bit. <laughs> Not even one. Not even one. <laughs> I can't remember the last adult man. I didn't have to tilt my head up a little bit. Did you? Uh, did you track your uh, your height on a on a wall? Uh, Me back at home. We did not do that. In you didn't house. do that. Okay, because you could then like kind of if you want to get real granular and nuts, go well at twelve. You were here, and what was that percentile? And but well, did like that. You know. I'm gonna be blunt. It was not gonna be a fun topic in my household. Not a thought. Okay. <laughs> hey, congrats! Like, like, like the goal. You know what the goal in my house was to be taller than my dad, who was like five mm -hmm. two and a half. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I didn't do it. I didn't even do it. <laughs> so, 
So it's now this child's how, cross to bear. How, and how, All he's got to do is hit the second well, that, percentile. So that's, I'm like, how quickly will this occur? Because, you know, it's fun to imagine the, the Shimon Kamino moment somewhere in your 20s or so, but that shit might happen at, like, 10. <laughs> If he's going to be 5'6 or 5'7, like by the time he's a teenager, we'll be it's about the same height. Okay. Like well, there was a, the neighbor's kid that was like playing music too loud in his car, and I had to be like, dude, my baby's asleep. Can you just can you turn the subwoofer off? And that kid's like 14, and he's, he's no, he's 16, and he's taller than me. I'm, just, uh, I'm small. <laughs> I've also watched as like uh, as, uh, we have a you know fairly tall family, but um, I've watched Good for you whatever <laughs> dice roll. But no, I I've, just wanted to say it. Uh, I've watched to. like some of the uh, nephews grow up to be like like instantly taller than the average height adults in the family mm -hmm. as well. Just shoot the fuck up. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Something's in the water. Okay. Um. The water was smoking for my family. <laughs> uh, the I think, I think my boy is like the first person in my family to not have like multiple years of secondhand smoke in his crib. Directly blow in, in like like a hundred and fifty years or something. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's uh. That's a. Uh... That's a good Dad, how come you're so short? Was it because your mom smoked when she was pregnant or did she smoke into your crib? Or maybe it was those bottles of hot water she gave you when you were hungry. Did, uh, did I even tell you about that? No. One sec. Did Paige check her percentile just out of curiosity? Oh, she's she's average. She's 5'4". Okay. Um, did I tell, yeah, I told you that when I cried as an infant, my mom told me that she was, she was told by the nurse... She was, oh, fuck, God damn it. She, the nurse told her that you have to feed the baby every three hours and not before. So if I got really hungry, but it wasn't time, she would just whip up a full bottle of hot water to fill my stomach. <laughs> as like an infant. As a, as a treat. Yeah. A little, a little hot water is a treat. And in the same, and in the oh same, in the same conversation oh. I have with my mom. She's like, and you had terrible colic. We couldn't figure it out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, God damn it, man. Shit. All right. Oof.